Hey friends, it's Quinby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back for another Live at Five Reseller Community Night. Every Friday on the channel, I do a live video and I invite resellers to come together and talk about everything about reselling online in 2021. Hi friends, I see some of you coming in the chat. So happy you're here and I can't wait to check in with you. Let me know in the chat, how is your week in reselling? What is going on for you? Um, today is March 12th, 2021. Um, and I just got some good news that the area where I live in Northern California, I'm in Sonoma County, and we've been in the purple tier for COVID um, restrictions and everything. So nothing's been open here. If you've been a friend of the channel, you know that for almost all of this pandemic time, I have not been thrifting. I've been buying um, online my inventory for my reselling business. But now this means that things are going to open again. More is going to be open. I've had my first vaccine, so I might get out there and do some more um, thrifting and thrift hauls for you guys so I can teach you all about the great brands that I find here in my area and what sells really well on Poshmark and eBay. I've been an online reseller for almost 10 years. I've been selling fashion, clothes, handbags, jewelry, shoes, that kind of stuff on eBay. And I've been on Posh, I think, almost three years so um, we love to talk about all things reselling online here on the channel. Hi, friends. So happy to see you. Let me say hi to everybody. I do want to address what I put in my title, though, which is Thread Up Rescue Boxes. Last week, we talked a lot about how Thread Up Rescue Boxes, how they increase their prices. And are we going to continue buying Thread Up Rescue Boxes for inventory for our reselling business? Or are we just going to kind of cool it on the boxes for a while. And you know, I love a good unboxing. I have an entire playlist on my channel of thread up unboxings. So the shoe box came out this week and instead of $90, it was $100 and I bought it. So I think I might still be buying the shoe boxes. Let me know what you guys think about this. I might take a break from the designer boxes because those went up by a lot, but I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Where are you coming down on this whole buying thread up rescue boxes for your reselling business? Which boxes are you going to kind of Dismiss now that they're more expensive. Which are you going to keep? Let's say hi to some friends. Hi, Stephanie. Living for naps. Okay, you've got to tell us the story with how you came up with that fantastic username. I've never really asked you, but that is so cute. I hope you're doing well. And my friend Kristen is here. Well read wardrobe. Hi, Stephanie. I love your username. So do I. I was just saying that. And I'm Kristen. Yep. Good to see you. I've enjoyed chatting with you lately. Oh my gosh, it's Jacob. I miss you when you're not here, Jacob. You're always good for a few laughs. Happy Friday, Quenby. Great to be here with you and everyone. Hello, friends. Happy Friday. I'm feeling the Friday vibes, are you guys? I think because it is gorgeous here. I mean, all of us have been talking on these Friday shows about the weather, how the weather's affected our reselling business and shipping, especially my friends down in the South who got snow like in Texas, crazy, crazy stuff. But it's like, sunny and what 65 degrees here today and it just makes me feel like excited like I need to go out <laughs> Michelle is here she made it early I know I love when you make it early Sarah Lee Coleman hi how's it going Sarah Lee with you what's happening my friend Terry is here hello beautiful Quenby hello everyone I am evolving always on all platforms you definitely want to be following our friend Terry hi Beth Tillman How's it going where you are? I know you've had some lifey stuff that you can choose to share about or not. And uh, just sending some love and prayers your way. And Deb is here. How's it going with you, Deborah? You said one of these lives in the past couple of weeks, like you've been in a little bit of a, a little slump or something around reselling. Are you getting things listed? Have you pulled yourself out? I think it's when we were all joking around talking about like living in our sweatpants and our yoga leggings and maybe we want to pull it together a little bit, but we're kind of stuck. So let me know how you guys are doing with that. Hi, Deb. Great to see you. And Alan is here. I'm here, but it's raining and my internet keeps going out. Ugh. Peter set me up. I don't know if Babe is listening. He's at his J-O-B. He has a real J-O-B where he leaves the house. Not that our jobs aren't real. They just don't require me to like get up and be at the office by seven and not come home till six or whatever with meetings. And I'm so grateful to be a reseller. Thank you. Thank you that I made this choice to be self-employed and be a reseller. It's not always an easy choice, especially uh, this year, but I'm so grateful for it. What are you guys grateful for about our reselling business? 
Anyway, Peter set it up so I plug right into the ether, ethernet or whatever it is. Hi, Jojo. I'm here and I hear. LOL. Good to see you. And Julie Gardner is with us. Give me a check in, guys. Like what's happened your week in resale? How have sales been? Where are you selling? I primarily sell on eBay and Poshmark. But there are people in this chat who sell on Macari, Depop, Kitizen, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace. So don't hesitate to talk about any reselling platform. If you have any questions, is anybody doing anything different, trying some new platform? My sales have been pretty darn good. I'm just still surprised to report to you that my Poshmark sales are like on par with my eBay sales. I did not think that was ever going to happen. And it has. So that's been a really awesome thing for me. Hey, Jen. Bora Bora Jen is here. It is definitely five. Oh, I just sold something. Um, Lori Richardson, Seattle gal. Okay, all my all my notifications are coming up. So it won't let me click on this thing. Oh my god. Okay. Hi, Lori. Seattle gal style. Hey, beautiful Lori. She's saying, hey, beautiful Quenby. Amber Licious is here. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'm feeling the Friday vibes tonight, you guys. Usually I'm like, it could be any day. Like, I, you know, every day is the same. Groundhog Day, doesn't matter what day of the week. I work seven days a week, and I don't mind that one bit. Oh, I just saw Kelly. Kelly Schaffner. Hello, Quemby. And hi, all. I was binge watching Kelly Schaffner's channel the other day. She's like one of my faves. I'm such a fan. And now we're kind of friends. We are cooking up a good collab for you guys, so get excited. If you haven't seen the video that Kelly and I did, the Thread Up Rescue Box handbag bo video, go check that one out. It was just such a great, fun video, and we all had such a good time. Emily Stewart is here saying hello, hello, and Shelly Robinson. Hello, watching you while my husband is driving to granddaughter's birthday party in Kansas. Awesome. How old is your granddaughter going to be? You guys are in Kansas. What's it like over there right now? That's sweet. Thanks for taking me along on your road trip. Lindsay's Posh Loft is here. Hello, everyone, she says. So happy to see you all. Christy Blocker, it wouldn't be Friday if she didn't say, hey, reselling family. Great to see you, Christy. Ginger Handpicked is here. Oh, my gosh, it's super geeked. Victoria's in the house. We only get Victoria every once in a while. She's like me, a reseller, a mom, hand, you know, doing a lot of different things. So I love. it's so great when you come and visit us. And James is here. I got the shoebox too. Okay. <laughs> I, I love it. I feel so much better that James is like, all right, I'm in. Because we were talking last week for some of us, especially this pandemic year, we've been using thread up rescue boxes. They're reject DIY boxes as a great way to get inventory. And when thread up makes changes, we all have to adapt. We have to be flexible. We have to be adaptable as resellers because things change all the time, but it's like, you have to take the blow for a minute. Like, Oh no, they raised the price. The shoe boxes I think have been so great for me. Um, so I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to spend the extra. But look at Bora Bora Jen says DIY designer went up to 120. I'll still grab them when I can find them. Vote on this, people. Are you still going to grab it? Now, I have to admit my last designer box, that's the hardest box to get my hands on. What about you? Like, I, I rarely ever see it up. But I bought one recently. The video's up on my channel. So when you're done here, you can go watch it. Seven items, 90 bucks. I sold the Prada jacket. No, I'm sorry. It was a Burberry jacket for 150 from that box. And from that same box, I sold the D&G glasses for 65. Those both sold really quick. I have not listed anything else from that box yet. So I can't really do like, um, I, I don't have the best data in terms of how quick is it flipping. But um, that's a lot of money to make off that one box. And I haven't listed the shoes. I got a pair of Prada jeans in there. Gosh, it makes me want a designer box right now. Ginger hand picked. I think I said hi, but just in case I'm saying it. Rhonda Creek is here. Good evening. Oh my gosh. I got to get, I got to stop talking and say my hellos. Let me make sure. Cause we have a lot of stuff to get into. Let me know what you're thinking about the boxes. I'd really, I really value your opinion on that. Are you still going to get them? Designer box. That's a serious, what is the percentage on that? It went from, um, 90 for seven items to 120. Oh, James says I'm driving, so I can't moderate, but listening. Okay. I should, I need to make other people moderators, but I forget how. <laughs> worst YouTuber ever. Oh my God. Have you guys been watching my videos and enjoying the blooper section? Let me know. 
Torvald and I have had so much fun. The video that went out today, it went out late. I'm sorry, but it was a um, free people movement unboxing. He was cracking up when I'm doing like my editing. I've just gotten so into the bloopers lately. It's like, let me know what you guys think about that. Cause I know it is taking a little bit of time, but I'm having so much fun. Hey Mo, didn't buy it. I hesitated for some reason on the shoe box. Um, okay. 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 I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, Michelle says, I probably won't do the shoe box. The cost of goods is just too high and iffy on shoes that are decent. So someone do the math right now because I don't have my phone. I think it's $6 or it was $6. So the thread up rescue shoe box was, um, what was it again? You guys, 15 pairs of shoes for 90 bucks. So it only is going up. It's like less than a dollar a pair of shoes. So I thought maybe it'd be okay. But what do you guys think? Um, Alana says Friday actually means something to me now because after 51 weeks, I finally got a job. What? Is this good news? Is this like, should we be like excited or should we be like, oh no, a job? Hey, Nicole, I've done my statistics and my stats are the worst on mystery boxes. So no more. Tell me what you mean by that. Like, how did you do your stats? Like, I, I can imagine how, but I'd rather you just tell me like, cause I was thinking maybe I should do like, okay, let's look at the boxes. I'd have to somehow remember which items I got in which boxes, how much they sold for. I do know that the stuff I go handpick myself when I go out thrifting tends to sell faster and for higher prices because I live in Sonoma County, California. It's a very affluent area. Um, people spend a lot of money on clothes. I'm an hour from San Francisco. A lot of stuff comes up from San Francisco to the stores here. So I find great stuff. It's expensive. So my cost of goods is higher on what I hand pick. My cost of goods is lower on mystery boxes. But I also want to know what you mean by like um, mystery boxes because that's so general. There's thread up boxes for me. There's Joe Mar. There's B and G Trading. There's Shop Goodwill. There's Poshmark mystery boxes. So that would be kind of hard. Terry says I love the bloopers. Okay, alrighty. Let me go back up here because I missed a lot. Um, Mickle pickle pie. Meredith is in the house with us. Good week. I'm finally caught up on my new inventory system. All caught up updating my Vendu analytics and trying out a new listing service. Wow. You should be feeling super good about yourself right now because that is, you're like getting organized. You're getting your ducks in a row. I don't know why we say that funny expression because whenever I've seen ducks, they're never perfectly in a row. All right. Victoria says, I'm really hesitant with the price increase. The last shoe box I got was terrible. Really? Wow. I don't think I've got a terrible shoe box. Deb says, I got a shoebox, yippee. So check out my video. Okay, so if you're someone who's like, I don't know, is a thread up rescue box, shoe box good for me? What I do when I'm wondering about a new box is I go to YouTube and I, I watch people's videos. So I get a sense, what is the range? What can I expect? What, you know, and, and, and then you know, like, okay, that totally wouldn't work for me, or I think it would. So if you look on my channel, my last three or four shoe boxes were all great. I got a Tory Burch pair of shoes in every one of those boxes, and those sell between 50 and 70 pretty quick every time. So I don't know. I think mine have been pretty darn good, but you're always going to get crap shoes in there. You're always going to get some low end brands. You're always going to get some that need work, right? Make sure if you're watching, you've hit that thumbs up button that helps out me and my channel. And if you're watching the replay, make sure you're subscribed so that you can find out when other box, when other videos come out. Shelly said, we live in Texas, but we're from Kansas. We left 80 degrees for 40 degrees today. Granddaughter will be three. Well, you know what? That's a good reason. Your, your granddaughter's third birthday is a good reason to leave the warm for the cold. I mean, that's going to be so cute. Three-year-old, three-year-olds that age is so adorable. So adorable. Mo said, I bought a mixed clothing box and I got All Saints men's polka dot shirt, new with tags, and it sold for 50 bucks. I was excited. So if you get a thread up rescue box, they have not changed the price on that as far as I know as of today. It's only 60 bucks, $5.99 shipping. So she, so Mo sold, Mo sold a shirt for 50 bucks. So even after fees, that box is more than half paid for. And that's my experience. Jen says it brings the DIY designer box up to 17 per item instead of 12.85 per item. 
That's a big difference. That's five bucks. Oh, you know, five bucks. Um, and Deb says it makes the shoes six, 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 but Hey, Goodwill and other thrift stores, the average price anymore is higher. Prices have been crazy. Lucky flats for 24 bucks. So I think it's a risk I'll take really good point. Deb is bringing up. And that is this, whether mystery boxes and rescue boxes are right for you. It totally depends on the sourcing in your area. Like, and, and how, how often you can source. Here's the other huge benefit for me personally. When I go thrifting, I have to drive to a thrift store. I'm usually in the store two hours or something. I have to drive home. That's time. That's a lot of time. And I'm a part-timer. I'm a mom. I have another job. I'm getting boxes that show right up on my front door. I don't have to source. I mean, I'm saving so much time. I have like four or five boxes downstairs that need to be open. So there's a lot to consider. Your time and what you can find in your area is huge. It's so expensive where I am that rescue boxes allow me or any type of mystery box, the cost of goods is so much less. Terry says, I think those designer boxes will end up being better. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Veronica made it in. I don't see her, but someone's talking to her. Hey, Veronica, nice to see you. She got a Joe Mar box recently. Oh, here we go. Hi, friends. Hi, Quimby. I didn't realize it was so late already. I know time is going by. Um, let's see. James says shipping went up. So that's the reason for the increase. Oh, interesting. So do you think people are raising the cost of the mystery boxes and stuff because shipping designers not included? Yikes. I've had great boxes lately, except the recent ones. So if it's, if this is bad too, I'm taking a sabbatical. I've had to do that. I've had to do it where I'm like, like I have had to do that, to be honest with you guys, with Goodwill uh, blue boxes. Some of you say that you get great ones. Every box I've gotten this year has been so bad. Like I can't even sell the stuff. That's just my personal experience. So I'm taking a break. Like, you know, what's not working for me right now. But I also believe in the strategy of like, you just keep buying mystery boxes. You're going to get some good ones. And don't put all your eggs in one basket. I buy from Thread Up. Rescue boxes, I buy from Jomar Wholesale. I buy from B&G Trading. I buy from Shop Goodwill Online. I buy from other sellers on Poshmark. So you're going to get, you know, you take the good with the bad when you do it that way. I like that way. Um, living for naps. Uh, what listing service is everyone using? Do you mean cross-posting or listing? What do you mean? Let me know. Birdie Look says, um... Mystery boxes is one of the categories I put in my data. I put together all boxes from all sources, Thread Up, Goodwill, Jomar, b and and they all perform poorly. I do best when I choose each item on my own. I, that makes total sense to me. I think you're probably right. And, and Terry's reminding people to please hit the thumbs up. We have 41 friends watching at this moment. So hopefully I've got some thumbs up down there. And James says, I can get shoes here easily. So I'm going to get the boxes a lot less. Yeah, that, you know, that makes sense. Shoes here are so expensive at my thrift stores. It's like, yeah, everything's so expensive where I am. So I'm like, I'm happy to get a box. I'm just going to do a bunch of everything, but I'll tell you what, if they start opening more here and I've got my, my vaccine and they, they put out some statistic here where I am, where it's like 20% or what was it? Now I'm going to, I don't want to report bad numbers. Many, many people in my area are now vaccinated. I wanted to say it was like 20%, but that sounds high. So it's like the more people out there that are vaccinated, the safer it is for everybody all around. So I feel like I'm going to be able to get out there more. Has anyone seen my mom, Grateful Babette, in the chat? I'm wearing these gorgeous earrings that she got me for my birthday last week. So I was hoping I'd see her. So they're, they're like handcrafted and they're so gorgeous. My 45th birthday last week, I was here with you guys and it was fantastic. Um, anyway, that's interesting. Nicole, I think it's worth looking at that. Hey, reseller Wendy, reseller Wendy works for the, for the postal service. So I send appreciation to her and the postal service every Friday. Ginger handpicked. I have nearly 300 pieces of inventory coming next week. 100 from Jomar and 100 from a new liquidation company I'm trying out. I'm excited and scared at the same time. That makes sense. I know when you try a new company. Oh, that's right. The other one I use is Backstock. I'm not an affiliate for like any of these except for Joe Mar. Um, Backstock is a place I love my boxes from them and that's pretty cheap. And I've sold a lot of that stuff. You guys, you know, I go on in all my haul videos about the free people stuff. 
I have sold so much free people this week, you guys. Like, I am selling a lot of that stuff. If I could just sell free people clothing, all the lines, free people movement, free people intimate. If I could just sell free people and Lululemon, I'd be like the happiest. <laughs> I mean, the sell through rate on that stuff is just so good. I was going to like show you some of my sales real quick because, you know, I, I like to say, I talk a lot about these brands and some people say they don't sell for I'm like, I'm selling so much, like, um, so much of my free people stuff. It, it does matter what you get in the brand too. So you need to know what does well in the brand. I sold these free people, um, skinny high rise jeans for $31 on posh. Um, I've sold so much free people and on eBay too. And in my videos, I've been saying, you guys, it sells better on posh, but I sold a bunch on eBay. Let me bring that up in a minute, but I see a super chat. I want to acknowledge cause that just means so much to me. Here it is from Veronica. Grateful for this community tonight. I need a good distraction from non reselling life. Let's take a minute. There's obviously something going on with Miss Veronica in her life that it feels like heavy. And here we are, your reselling friends and community to help hold it with you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad even if things feel hard, you show up, you know, with us and, and like, let us take your mind off stuff and just focus on the reselling stuff. That's called healthy distraction. And it's, it's a good skill to be able to do that. And I love having you. Veronica, put your YouTube channel. Is it just like your name there? Because I know that you're going to be doing some unboxings over there and I want to support you and send people over. Um, beautiful earring says Rhonda Creek. My mom sometimes is listening. Like she'll text me later and say, I was there. I couldn't put a comment. So um, I love these earrings so much. Mommy, thank you so much. Um, Veronica sending some hearts. Hey, Gina, fancy saying hi and sending some love to Veronica. Look at that cool image she's got as her um, user image. Reseller Wendy said, if anyone is on Clubhouse tomorrow night, Chandra from Glow Girl Glow and I and Monica all work for USPS and we'll be talking about shipping. That's awesome. I can't get on Clubhouse because I don't have a um, an iPhone. And, and when I tried to get on from all the invites you guys sent me, it's only like an iPhone, whatever right now, I, whatever, Mac products, and I don't have them. <laughs> Sorry, there was a little blip there. Let me know if I'm back, guys. Veronica says, so interesting. My free people moves very slowly or not at all these days. You guys, maybe I should, I'm getting an idea right now. Does that, can anyone message me on Instagram or can I message myself? I should do a video on within the brand free people, what sells, because I keep getting this over and over. And then I, I'm just coming up with the idea right now. Let me know if that would be helpful because not all free people is the same. I, I actually pass on some free people brand. Um, when I'm out, I'm like, no, it, it has to do with a lot of different things. And I've mentioned that in all my free people hall. If you watch my free people hall videos, I'll drop all these tips. I'll be like, hey, listen, this is why I bought this particular piece and paid up for it. But maybe I should condense that into one video. Um, I don't know. It could be because it could be your pictures. It could be pricing. It could be the item itself. You know, oh, here's my mom. Grateful Babette. Oh, wow. I'm thrilled you're wearing the earrings. Thank you. I am very much here. I'm and she's always here. Sometimes she has a hard time leaving comments, but she appreciates when you guys say hi to her. I know she feels she doesn't even resell. She just knows I resell and she loves thrifting. And mom, did you hear me say that things are opening here, even indoor places that are small that have been closed? So my mom has to walk by her favorite Goodwill all the time. And it's a little Goodwill. And it's been closed the entire time, never once reopened. Over, It's been closed for one year, and it just opened. That's big here. So, um, oh, my God, I love you. Look at my friend Terry. See, I get these notifications on my computer, and she already messaged me to say do a video. I love you. What can I say? This is what I'm talking about, the reseller community being so awesome, so helpful, so there for each other. I love it. Thank you, Terry. I love you. Okay. Gina Fancy has trouble me moving free people. I mean, if, if I could just sell free people, I would be so happy. Super geeked. I'm about to do an update on my 100 pound box next week. Are you going to say like what sold and what hasn't? Nicole says, I have a lot of free people and it's slow moving lately, but it's still one of my top selling brands. Yep. 
Hey, Trisha, I see you, but your comment just like flipped right by me. Hey, Trisha, I would love to listen on Clubhouse. Would anyone want to share an invite code? So Trisha, if you're on Instagram, I know people have been sending, if anyone has a an invite code that they can send Trisha, put it in the chat. Um, that would be great. Deborah says, I just want to put in another plug for Macari. I love it because I'm able to move some stale inventory. I can move it at lower price because Macari fees are so low. Try it. I love that, Deborah. See, that is so helpful to all of us. I've never even been on Macari. So, um, and it hasn't been like super high on my list, but that's a really good. Why do you think you're able to move things stale inventory? Oh, I, I see what you're saying. You're saying I can move it at lower price. What are the Macari fees? Because they're so like if you have a top that you want to sell for 20 bucks on Posh because they're going to take 20%. Maybe on Macari, the fees are only 10%. So you can sell that $20 top much less. Genius. I love that. I have got on Etsy, but I'm only on Etsy. I'm learning Etsy. That's awesome. I've been wanting to do it, but I'm not learning it yet to sell handmade and vintage. I'm selling my reseller tools and my therapy tools in my Etsy shop. It's linked in the description. So I have all sorts of tools that I use to help me stay organized. I don't have one right here. I wish I did, but like I made a reseller to-do list. I made a reseller um, tracking, keeping track of how many listings. I put them up on Etsy for like five bucks or less, three bucks. So if anyone's interested in using some of the tools that I use, they're over on Etsy, super cheap. And um, I'd love to share them with you. They're, they help me. I'm sharing things I made for myself to help myself. And if you guys want them, that's where they are. Ooh, look at all these great comments. Hey, Style on Sale. Happy to see you. I'd love to sell more on Macari, but it's my slowest platform. I'm not sure why. I'm also thinking about Etsy for handmade and vintage. If I, I would love to sell handmade and vintage. I just have so much on my plate. I cannot imagine doing anything else, but then I keep on taking on something else. Like, um, but uh, Etsy, I think is super hot. And I think it's a really good idea. Oh, I have a super chat. Oh, Terry, you're so sweet. Evolving Always Productions. Did you guys go over to her channel? I know I asked a bunch of you to subscribe. Uh, she did a live with me. What day was that? That was that this week. We did a live over on Terry's channel, Evolving Always. And it was super fun because it was about reselling, but she also, we talked a lot about personal stuff. So it's a really good interview. She is an awesome interviewer. So definitely go over and subscribe to Evolving Always. If you have your phone, just pull it out right now and just go onto YouTube and put Evolving Always Productions. She's got awesome content and on Instagram too. And I like her. And I'll tell you one thing as a guest on her show, she's the most generous, like she's just the most generous interviewer. She gave me the best intro I've ever had. So I would love for you guys to um, support her. You won't regret it. She's awesome. Get your butt over there. Ah, thank you, Terry. I appreciate you. Beth said, I accepted an offer on Mercari today and then they requested to cancel. Can they do that? Uh, they can on eBay and on Poshmark. So I assume they can too. Super Geek said, I get mostly full price sales on Mercari. Not a lot of sales, but when I do, they're generally full price. That's awesome. And you know, that is true because each and every platform has its own culture. Do you know what I mean by that? Like buyer and seller expectations on a platform. So like on Poshmark, I would, I just personally, as a shopper on there, I would never buy anything full price because I know if I, if I like it, they're going to send me an offer or I'm going to send them an offer. So it's like, I just know that about the platform. That's what buyers know. That's what they expect. Maybe on Macari, that's not like the only expectation. All right, let me get to some of these comments. They're going wicked fast and I'm missing. Okay, Alana said Macari is 13.9% fees. Maybe I should have some one of you on who has some good experience on Macari. Maybe I can have you on and you can answer Macari questions and kind of give us a little bit of um, info. That's a good video idea too. So let me know if you're interested in that. Veronica, I need to list my Johnny was listed. I am still so excited I found it. I have a Johnny, I have a confession, reseller confession. It's so bad. Months ago, back in December, when I actually got to a thrift store, I got a heavily embroidered Johnny was top. Pay attention to this. Johnny was is one of the hottest brands, I think. 
you can get like between 75 100 dollars like that i got a johnny was size xl bigger bigger size does better it's so heavily embroidered i have not listed it yet why i love it so much that i like it hanging on my rack so i can look at it all the time <laughs> don't be me sell your johnny was oh Sarah Lee says, is anyone having success with cottage core on any platforms? Good question. Uh, Sarah Lee, for people that don't know, will you put what your idea definition of what is cottage core? Not everybody might, might know. Joe says, I agree to getting better offers on Vicari, but they have a threshold. All right. I think I better do a show on Vicari. Love you. Quamby says, Terry, I've made the best friends. Like I'm telling you, Getting on Instagram and YouTube for me personally as an introvert um, has been so satisfying for me professionally because I learned so many ways to grow and change. But also personally, I have made some of the best friendships with people and they're online friendships. Like I've never even met some of you, but I feel like super close. Like we're going to meet and it's going to be like hugging right away. Like, oh, we know each other. Like it is amazing. Our community is amazing. Style on sale. Good to be on here tonight. Kids aren't bothering me tonight, LOL. Just kidding. <laughs> They're otherwise occupied. I know. I got to be honest. I dropped Torvald off at his dad's and I was like, I love, I love this kid. Like I could just squeeze his little face and cover it with kisses every second. But to drop him off tonight, I was like, oh my God. And like I have, I have a weekend, a two nights without him. And that's super hard sometimes. I'm not going to lie as a, newly divorced person. That's a whole other show, but if anyone wants it, we should do it. Um, it's the hardest thing about divorce and it's the best thing. I know that sounds so weird, but like having your kid full time during a pandemic is hard. It is so hard. Any of you parents out there, I bow at your feet. You know what I mean? You're doing amazing. This is so hard. And so to have a little break from it when I know he's safe at his dad's house, having a great time over there, it's like the best, right? Like I'm telling you, it's just the best. And, the, and it's hard and it's the best. <laughs> Lori Richardson says, I've only sold a few things on Macari, Macari, but I sure buy a lot on there. Maybe I need to get over there. Hey, Allison Cooper. Having CMC joint arthroplasty surgery on my right hand for arthritis Wednesday. Bought a pallet of Macy's bras and panties. That was smart. Bras sell great. We talked a lot about bras one week on this show. Um, that is awesome. Sending you like good surgery, good healing vibes your way. What am I missing way down here? Is cottage core a thing, says Veronica? I'm honestly asking. Okay, Sarah Lee. Cottage core is prints with white backgrounds, large collars, straw hats, long aprons, country pinstripe, not an expert. I have a little experience just because I love it. Cottage core, and I won't say this perfectly, but it is a it is a fashion trend and it is like, think Anne of Green Gables, almost like puritanical um, women's fashion, long flowered dresses, aprons, like what do they call it? Like ret a return to Victorian fashion, modesty, romantic. <gasps> hey, Barbara Babash is back. Where I've missed you, Barbara. What is going on? You popped in like. I'm used to seeing you every week and I'm just like, is everything okay? How are you doing? Um, I saw my mom here, Barbara, grateful Babette. You are so me hanging things on my wall because they are so beautiful to look at. I know I'm so guilty. My mom, listen, my mom, one of these days when we're, when everything's cool, I should do like a little apartment tour. You know, my mom has, is the one who taught me about thrifting, taught me about designers she can like spot a car across the room, a gorgeous designer piece. She has a total eye for fashion and you go to her house and it's like, she's got gorgeous dresses just hanging on the walls. I think, um, Sarah Lee Coleman's like this too, because they're art pieces because they're gorgeous. And I do the same thing. I have dresses hanging in my closet that I'll probably won't even wear because I love looking at them. Hey, it's art. You know, if you can afford it, if you're not hurting anybody, you're all good. <laughs> What did Jacob say? Hello, Malgorza. Oh my God, Malgorzada Blanco. 
I love that name. I'm so sorry. I just did that to it. Maybe say it phonetically for me. I love it. As someone with an unusual name, Quenby, it's like, I need to do better. On Macari, they allow only 20% offers. What? Okay. All right. What do you guys think of that? Okay. I got to get better. Barbara said, I had to drive someone to Connecticut CT because their dad was dying. Oh, so you've been like preoccupied. Well, I'm just glad to see you back. I like having you here. Christy Blocker, Quemby, since the separation, we share custody and I miss him when he wasn't with me. You know, I, we should chat about that sometimes. So um, I hear you 100% and I have those days. It's a weird thing as a parent. Um, my son's nine and it's like when he's not here, when my son's not with me, I feel this weird emptiness and grief. So that's very real. And I also feel sometimes like the relief, like, oh my God, I'm a human being, an adult person with my own life. I need a break too. And it's hard 24 seven. And those are okay. Like we are complex human beings and, and individual and individuals. We can hold the complexity of that. It's both. And everything in life is both. And, you know, things are not black and white. So I have that too. I'm totally with you. And it's like, I just try and do like, I try and say, okay, I feel some sadness and this is weird and I'm okay. And this is okay. And take advantage of your time alone because there are so many women and men maybe who do not have it. So I'm not going to waste it. I'm not going to blow it. If you know what I mean? I, I have some business goals for myself. I have things that I want to be doing with my time and I'm going to do them. And my, and our kids are okay. They're not with us all the time and that's okay too. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There's so much going on. Let me get up here. Beth says, Oprah buys shoes to look at, not to wear. <sighs> and Living for Nap says, yes, Quemby, road trip to mom's place. Yeah, she and I were getting in a good rhythm of doing some videos together and then COVID and everything. So, you know, um, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Okay, Jacob says, Macari's been good for other items for me, like DVDs and trading cards. I haven't even got over there. Shelly said, I have three Johnny Was pieces hanging on my door to sell. I agree. I just like looking on them. Well, that brand in particular, I mean, it is all, it's like hand embroidered and they use silks and they use gorgeous fabrics and silks. And it's like, that's why they cost, you know, $150 new and you can still get $100 for them used. They are works of art. They are works of art. So I'm glad that we have reverence for them. <laughs> Birdie Look says, I hear you, Quimby. I'm so tired putting our two-year-old in daycare next month, and I feel guilty, and I feel happy. That's okay. That is okay, Nicole. I'm 100% with you. And you know what? That's a very common experience for parents. Like, I feel guilty, and I need it. You know what? It's like, it's okay. And you know what? Kids tend to do well. Once they get over the transition in any kind of school or child care, they're their own people, too. Like, we sometimes think as parents, we need to be with them 24 seven, but they, even at three years old, five years old, they have their own lives too. They have their own friends. They have their own social needs. They have other adults who can appreciate them and care for them. And that's healthy for them. It's not healthy for them to be with us 24 seven. I mean, they need to have other experiences and other people in their lives too. And parents need to take care of themselves too. So I hear you. And I hear you. It makes total sense. And practice allowing yourself to just enjoy the time and space for yourself. It's all going to be okay. All right. Terry says, I'm working on cottage core. I think it could be huge. You know, I let it, it, well, when did that come out? Like it became like six months ago or something. I had a few things. I think if you sell vintage or maybe on Etsy, uh, you're probably going to do really well. Style on sale. What does everyone think of the new Poshmark shipping discounts? I've been trying out the $1.50 discount slash $5.95 shipping to see how it goes um, to save on fees a little. I'm curious about it too. Like I would love it if I could send out my 20% offers and, and that discount and if buyers see it as the same or have they caught on or do they just see any shipping discount? What do you guys think? Michelle's saying, I need to check out Macari. And Veronica said that might be the next platform for me too. So yeah, yeah. Okay, super geeked. There's a, there's a big toy plush reseller community on Mercari. 
A friend of mine just sells that stuff. I've heard of that. People that are just selling plush stuff to animals. I have no interest in that personally, but I'm glad um, that some people are doing that and doing well with it. James, the antique boutique. I just got a great pair of brand new Tory Burch shoes for a fraction of the price new with tags. Facebook marketplace run, headed home now. Keep us posted on that. So are any of you using Facebook marketplace as a way to source inventory for your business? I don't sell on there. I know a lot of you do, but let me know because maybe that's a good way to, when I, when I looked, I was like, oh, oh, maybe I can find some Lululemon on Facebook marketplace. Here where I live, people wanted like the prices I would charge. So it didn't make any sense. Again, it depends where you live. Barbara says, received one of the thread up jewelry boxes and pretty good. And my new bolo is Julie Voss. Never heard of it. Why don't you tell us about Julie Voss? I want to get one of the rent the runway boxes, but I haven't seen it on there. James says, sending strength and positivity to Super Geek. Did I miss something? Let me see. Um, let's see. All right, Amberlicious, if you're here or not, if you're not talking a lot, we know that's why. Uh, I don't see it, but if there's up there, put it in the chat if I miss something. Christy Blocker said her son is 16. Yep. Yep. I might have missed something, but let me know, you guys, if I miss something. Please put it in there again. Um, going back down here. So there's so much. <gasps> Isla James is here. Oh, Deborah Anderson. Oh, you sweet thing. Oh, you make me tear up. Deborah Anderson, a $10 super chat. Really enjoying all the Quemby friends and Quemby tonight. Thank you for bringing us together. Oh, Deborah, thank you so much. I just can't even tell you what it means when someone kind of acknowledges that. Like, we show up every Friday night. You know what I mean? Every Friday night. And it's like, some of us are here almost every single week. I've been here every week. I missed one in October. I was here like, you know what I mean? And the reason why is because I do believe in what we're creating here. I believe that people meet here and then they go subscribe to each other's YouTube channels or they go check out each other's Instagram or they go share someone's Poshmark closet. And that's ways that we are encouraging each other, lifting each other up, supporting each other. So we're friends and we're helping each other in our businesses. And that's kind of what my channel is about. Like, that's what I hope. I hope that I hope that that is created here. And I just want to appreciate you, Deborah, for recognizing that it really does mean a lot to me. It's part of my life purpose and goals and my 2020 vision. And, you know, I did another kind of like um, brainstorming journaling exercise again about like, what's my channel about for me? What is this channel? You know, and I keep coming back to that. And I hope that that comes across in the videos, um, you know, and in the lives. Okay. I want to say hi to Charlene, who I love. Ooh. Jomar just sent me a notification. Okay. I bought so much from Jomar recently. Bookmark it. Okay. Charlene, how's it going in Canada? Are you listing and not thrifting as much? She said, I want to send a super chat, but I've misplaced my personal bank card <laughs> and some other cards. I'm losing it. I must go on a search. Ooh, that sounds scary. Now, how do I get this off? How do I get a oh, few? Um, you're so sweet. Um, you better find those cards, not for the super chat, but for your life. That's not like that would stress me out. Beth says it's happy hour and it's my cyber friends one day in person. Beth, I totally like, listen, I'm starting to feel hopeful. Like I got my first vaccine. We're moving in the right direction. I don't want to be na naive about it, but I'd like to think like, Hey, maybe summer or fall. I would love to have a meetup. You know, like, and I, maybe people could help me organize it. We could just go thrifting and have some meals and then get a ton of time for introverts like me to be alone and rest and then come back. Like, it'd have to be a whole weekend thing. <laughs> but that is, I would love it. We would have so much fun. Barbara Voss says, okay, Barbara Voss, you see how I did that? It's Barbara Baba. She's talking about a brand that I don't know called Julie Voss. It's a higher end costume jewelry that sells over a hundred bucks. Listen. There's money to be made in jewelry. I started getting into it a little bit. And then I realized I was kind of over my head buying like jewelry mystery boxes. But what I learned really quickly was jewelry with a name brand, so easy to sell. Jewelry without a name brand, much harder. So I sold a lot of the stuff that was like 
Chico's or Loft or, or anything that was branded, name brand, the stuff I'm kind of left with is the unbranded stuff. But there's money to be made. And it's such a smart business. If you're someone who wants to like, hey, I kind of want to take on like, um, enough, I want to try a different, um, I, I want to try selling something different, maybe jewelry. It's so smart. It's lightweight, so it's super cheap to ship. It's small. It's really easy to store. And you can get a good amount of money for it. And sometimes it's inexpensive to buy like these mystery boxes. Who sells jewelry? It's really smart. James says, I should sell the project management tools I used when I was still working. Absolutely, James. That's what I learned. I was telling Peter that my Peter, my PD, you guys, I want to have my Peter on. I asked him if I could. I wonder if he's listening. He's probably driving home from work. Because I taught him to sell on eBay. He's learning, like during the pandemic, taught him to sell on eBay. So, of course, he comes along and he's selling all these things that sell for a lot of money, like tools. Um, and I was like, so he, I'm selling stuff for like 15 bucks, some pre-owned shoes or something. And he's selling things for like a hundred bucks. And I was like, babe, you should come on. And I should interview you about what it's like to be a new eBay seller. What are you learning? You know, what have you messed up on? I think it'd be, I think it could be really informative and he's really handsome and cute. So wouldn't that be fun? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. Okay, you can't comment, James. I'm with you. I got lost because I started thinking about PD. Ooh. Oh, oh, James was talking about his tools. Let me get back to that. So, yes, James, you should do it. There's money in it. Do you guys even know about this? On Etsy, you can sell, like, um, digital downloads that people can just print from their house so they get it immediately. I don't have them in front of me, but, like, all my like my reseller to do list where I have all different sections specifically for being a reseller. It's a one page list. I put it on there as a PDF. I put like three ninety nine on it. You can meet. You can buy it and immediately print it at home, and then you have it forever. You can print it in color. You can print a bunch of copies, one for every day. So if you have any tools like that, sell it on Etsy. I'm learning more. If once I learn more, maybe I'll do a video for, because I'm not the only one who has Excel, Excel spreadsheets and worksheets. Like I live by lists. That's what keeps me organized. I have a lot going on. Like most of you, if I don't write down what I need to do for my reselling business, I have a social media category on the list. I've got a listing goal. I've got a, what do I need to photograph? I've got a, what do I need to wash? It's like a custom made reseller list. So that link is in my description. But if any of you are thinking about that, let me know. Okay, Christy says, has anybody used the videos on Posh? Also, did anyone see Serena Williams' Australian Posh Closet? No. I just saw that, though. What do you guys think about the video thing? Leave a comment. Let me see. Did anyone say anything yet? Deborah says, stardust in Quimby's eyes when talking about Petey. <laughs> oh, God, he's going to love this. You know, here's the thing. If any of you have ever been in a long relationship and it was hard and then ended it, or you were married and had a divorce or a partnership or a death, I'm telling you, and you just think, oh, you're never, you know, to then meet somebody and be like, fall in love again, or have hope and love and relationship again, that's no small thing. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it all. Beth says, my daughter is getting a job in San Diego. So that much closer to Quemby than Miami, Florida. I know I'm far. I mean, California is huge. I'm northern, that's southern. But you could come visit your daughter and then take a road trip up. We're going to do it one of these days. Someone needs to help me organize it. But <laughs> ah, let's see what else you guys have to say. Terry says, I'm using Facebook Marketplace, not enjoying it. I do have a vintage rocking chair that I hope I can get for 200 yeah, like I sold in the past on Craigslist furniture and stuff, but I haven't done clothes and things like that. But I think there could be a lot of money. But why are you not enjoying it? Somebody, oh, Charlene, Islet Dreams. She sells a lot on um, like pickup stuff like that. I wonder what she has to say about it because she's enjoying it. Um, Let's see what we got. James is driving. Yes, we know. Okay. She says, I started Facebook Marketplace. Lots of views, not much sales. Yeah, I haven't done it. 
Oh, and James, the shoes are Tory Burch Scarlet Runner with embellishments. The ones I got were the ballet flats, travel flats. They weren't even that fancy. And one sold for 50 and one sold for 70, like in 48 hours. People love Tory Burch. I always look for it. That's the other thing I have for sale on my Etsy shop, my in my Etsy shop, you guys, my brand list. Because some of you asked me, you said, Quimby, if I'm on Shop Goodwill, like, so what brands do I search for and how do I? So I, I, I just typed up all the brands I search for when I'm on sites like where I'm so, like when I'm on sites where I'm sourcing for my business, what brands am I looking for? Typed it up so you can print it out. Veronica says, I think posh buyers are so used to $4.99 that they don't care for the $5.95 shipping. I like it from a selling perspective, but that doesn't matter if buyers don't bite. Really good point. So I think we need like some more data. And uh, Charlene says, I'm happy with the new discount because postage in Canada on posh is $12.99. I buy stuff on local Facebook marketplace to sell like a wicker table and chair, $45 sold it for a hundred. That's smart. That sounds really good. Michelle says I used marketplace to buy someone's inventory. My cost of goods is under 30 cents for 1200 pieces of clothes, not adding the shoes, scarves and hats. Wow. 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 That just gives me some things. So think about, Terry says, plush animals have been doing well for me. You're selling some plush? I've never done it. Torvald probably has a bunch I could sell. Okay. Cottage core is a is big in the fashion world. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. So, um, okay, we already saw this. So let me go down and see if there's something else. Um, at Evolving Always, are you having lots of no-shows? That can be such a pain. Oh, that's right. Cause I always had that with Craigslist and stuff. It'd be like, someone would be like, Oh my God, I need to have it. I'm coming over. And then they wouldn't show up. And I was like, this is annoying. But if you just do porch pickup, it's like, it doesn't matter wh whether they show up because it's just sitting out there on the porch. You know what I mean? Oh, here's Peter Newman. Hi all good vo vibes. I'm driving home. Oh good. I feel like we need to go out tonight because it's so gorgeous here. Super geek Ver Victoria says I used to do that on Etsy. I'm a freelance graphic designer. One Etsy, on Etsy, I did invitation stationery. Yeah, it's a whole new world for me, Victoria. But man, I, so why I got into it is because I have this, I have another YouTube channel. It's called The Grateful Therapist. And it's about my therapy life, my business. I mean, not myself. I, I'm sharing education on things about therapy and being a therapist. Um, and so many people ask me, because I work a lot with teens as a, as a therapist, like, and I talk about that and they're like, well, what questions do you ask? So I created some tools and I put them on Etsy and they sold. Like I made nine sales. I've had this stuff up there for one week. I make one document that they need questions to ask teens. I upload it to the site. I don't have to ship it. I don't have to store it. They buy it once. It's a printable download. They immediately get it. And I make a bunch of sales. So I think it's amazing. So I put my the stuff I made for myself that helped me in my reselling business. I put them up there. So in case you guys want them for like five bucks, there they are. So Victoria, man, that seems like a really good business. You could do vin. So Victoria super geek does a lot of vintage. So you could do like a bunch of vintage stuff. It's a great business opportunity. So let me know if you, I could do a video on it. I don't know if anyone's interested. Um, Nicole says for Facebook marketplace, I do shipping only no pickups. Yes, and if you guys are curious um, to report back, I use Vendu for cross-listing. You can get 25% off. I have a discount link in my description. They now added Facebook Marketplace. So you can cross-post items that you've already made listings for to Facebook Marketplace. I think it's amazing what's happening. It's amazing what is happening. Okay, I saw something here from Jacob. I haven't spent a lot of time on Posh lately. But on my next relisting session, I'm going to try and to incorporate free shipping with price point markups to test it out. That'd be awesome, Jacob. You should report back because I do believe that because the shipping cost is so high on Poshmark, and I get it. It's awesome because it's priority and it's a good deal. And you can get five pounds 
I, I totally get it. But as a buyer, if I'm on there and I want to buy this super lightweight free people top that I have on, I don't want to pay $7 and whatever it is, 75 cents for shipping. I'm like, that's stupid. So I do think buyers want a shipping discount. And if you can offer free shipping and eat that seven, but then you have to pay over $7. I guess I was just hopeful thinking maybe if Posh came up with a first class shipping option, it would be great. I mean, there, there's pros and cons to the high shipping. I get it, especially with bundles and all that, but it's just so expensive. So I would love for you to do that research. Jacob, maybe document it somehow and report back. You know what I mean? That would be great. Uh, Charlene says, Quemby, that's so welcome. Your downloads hustle on Etsy. Good for you. Very neat to know what sells. Yeah, I just, oh, but Bet's here. Where were you, girlfriend? Better late than never. I had to hit the Plato's Closet $2 sale. 38 items for 76. I have never gone to that. We have a Plato's Closet in town. And I actually started a bin of things to bring there last year. I've only done it like once and I made a whole video on it, how I prep the items, all the tips I learned about selling to Plato's Closet. I showed myself in the store. I showed myself what they bought and what they didn't. They only pay like two or three bucks for an item, but if it's stuff you don't need or like I have a ton of Forever 21 items that don't sell, they're not worth much. I can't sell them online for much. So I'm going to bring them to Plato's. Maybe they'll give me two bucks for them or something like that. Um, yeah, Jacob says, I'll be sure to take notes. That would be great. We could all learn from you. Jacob, new to eBay, new to YouTube, Grateful Queen presents What's New with <laughs> Peter Newman. I vote for Petey's channel. I know. He, he, he could have a great channel because he knows how to actually do stuff. I just come on and share my experience with you and act goofy. But there's so many things that he does, like fixing things that I think people actually need to know how to do. And if you make videos about that, you're helping people. Like every time he takes apart something. Ooh, Nicole says, I'm having a buy one, get one sale on Poshmark. Her closet is birdie looks this weekend. If anyone wants a killer deal, that's awesome. Check out her closet. Maybe I'll pop on over there. I would, I, I don't need to buy any stuff for myself or my business. <laughs> Let's see, what is well read? Well, red wardrobe say she's saying good night to Veronica. Beth says two of my daughters sold things on Facebook marketplace that use their shipping service and it went well. Yeah. I love that. You know, now that you mention it, why not use a service like Vendu cross listing to cross post everything you have onto Facebook marketplace. If Facebook marketplace now does shipping, it's just another selling platform. I don't want to deal with human beings organizing when are they going to come by and pick up my thing on the port? I don't know. That's just not my thing right now. But if, if, if you can ship it, just like, it just makes it like any other platform. So I think there's probably a real future in there. It's probably worth looking into and learning. That's what I say. All right, friends. I think it is time to wrap up for tonight. It goes so fast. If you want more Quemby time, I put out a video today that's not doing that well because I should have put it out in the morning, but I waited till the afternoon and it's my um, BNG trading unboxing. I was also on Terry's channel this week. So if you want to learn not only reseller stuff <laughs> about me, but like all the things I've done in my life, she did a great interview over at Evolving Always Productions. And if you do you guys follow Rebecca, the reseller, she's awesome. She interviewed me. And that went up today on her channel at Rebecca, the reseller about like my day, like as a reseller, how do you organize your day? And she's like, she's so like systems. She's like such a different thinker than I am. So she's like, Quimby, no, what do you do first in the day for your reselling business? What's the most important thing? And I was like, okay, okay. So we broke down my day as a reseller. So that was kind of interesting. Lots of opportunities for us to spend time together. I really appreciate you being here. I love spending time with you and I will see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. That's my new little jingle. I can't stop doing it and I sing it to myself during the day. I put it at the end of the videos and now I sing it. So, okay, love you guys. Great spending time with you. See you soon.